Hi, welcome to Story Time to Go. I'm Miss Beth, and today we're reading a book called Actual Size by Steve Jenkins. It's one of my favorite nonfiction books ever. Did you ever look a giant squid in the eye? Hey, we kind of did last week with our book, huh? Have you shaken hands with a gorilla or have been face to face with a tiger? All of the animals in this book are shown at actual size. So you can see how you measure up to the creatures, both large and small. This is an atlas moth. It's so large that it's often mistaken for a bird. And this, can you even see this? This is the dwarf goby. It's the smallest of all fish. Whoa, the giant squid lives deep in the ocean where its enormous eyes help it see in the dim light. Is that bigger than your eye? It's bigger than my eye. Whoa, the Alaskan brown bear is the largest meat-eating animal that lives on land. Here's the largest bird, an ostrich with its egg. Its egg is probably bigger than your head. A two foot long tongue. This must belong to a giant anteater who's snacking on his favorite food, termites. How many termites do you see? One, two, three, four. Four termites. The Goliath bird eater tarantula is big enough to catch and eat birds and small mammals. Yikes. Keep that away from your cat. Let's the saltwater crocodile, the world's largest reptile, is a man-eater. That means it can eat people. And then on the other side, what do we have here? This is the Goliath frog. This lives in Africa. It's big enough to catch and eat birds and rats. That's pretty long. Whoa, this is too close to a great white shark. Let's turn the page. The huge gorilla and the pygmy mouse lemur both have hands like ours and thumbs. The Siberian tiger is the biggest of the big cats. The Goliath beetle is the world's heaviest insect. And the giant walking stick is the world's longest insect. Usually they're not bigger than that, huh? Who does that foot belong to? This foot belongs to the largest land animal, the African elephant. And if you check out this book, there's lots of more fun facts about the animals. And if you go to our links online, you can explore uh, size and shape, do some slow and fast movement, and learn about some really tiny little books that are small, like, like the little um, pygmy fish in this book. See you next time.